Hello, I'm Dana Atkins, President and CEO of the Military Officers Association of America. On November 16th, the public comment period will close on a round of updates to eligibility at Arlington National Cemetery that could change your end of life plans, or those of your family, or those of your fellow service members. Now these changes are designed to keep the cemetery in operation to honor future generations but we at MOA have serious concerns about some of these proposals. You can read the full plan at the link on your screen, but here are three key takeaways. First, the new rules will make some retirees ineligible for in-ground burial, despite current eligibility based on decades of service. Now, this is a reduction in benefits to a deserving group of veterans who should be grandfathered in under existing rules. The proposed criteria are based on projecting five generations into the future, which is an unrealistic and arbitrary timeline. Second, the proposal doesn't reflect a serious push to expand the cemetery, a way to ensure proper military honors for future veterans, even if it means expanding into land not connected to the current cemetery grounds. Third, the plan doesn't address potential bias against those who served honorably at sea, in the air, or in other areas where combat decoration was less likely, nor does it address gender bias unfairly limiting the options of women who served before all jobs were open to all service members. Now, MOA has advocated with the Department of the Army, which runs the cemetery and with Congress on these issues. But now it's your voice that we need. Visit moa.org ANC 2020 and learn how to have your say. Remember, public comment closes November 16th. Don't just tell them MOA sent you, tell them your story. We've moved past the talking points and issue papers. Cemetery officials need to know how their decisions will affect our members, their families, and others who have dedicated their lives to serving their nation. And your representatives need to know the National Cemetery is a matter of national conscience. It's a time to reach out to your elected officials and ask them to seriously consider the impacts of the current proposed rule changes, with a focus on ground expansion over exclusion of deserving veterans. Now, thank you for your time, and visit MOA.org for the latest on these issues and other earned military benefits to you and your family.